everyone, what's up and welcome to the channel. Right now in this video, I'm going to show you pretty much everything we know regarding Season 6 right now at this moment, as well as also a new collab featuring a legendary exclusive AK-117, so definitely make sure to watch the full video. Now, before we do go ahead and hop into all of that, I do want to say that I am giving away 5 battle passes away on the channel. If you do want to enter, it is super simple, all you gotta do is be a subscriber with post notifications turned on. Then head down below into the description and click on the first link labeled as Battle Pass Giveaway to be able to confirm your entry into the giveaway. And now, with that out of the way, here we go. So, let's start off with the expected guns for Season 6 of Car Mobile. Two weapons are expected to be coming in the new season, which were both found in the previous test server. The first one is the Alcar 9 from Black Ops 3, a fully automatic pistol. And in Black Ops 3, this was considered by a lot of people to be the best pistol in the game because of how easy it was to use. It was actually considered to be a baby SMG, which you could run as your primary because of how good this gun actually was. You would kill people in 4-6 to six shots, it usually would take 5 though. The rate of fire was 720 rounds per minute and your time to kill was pretty average for most ranges. Your mag size was 20 and the extended was 28. The iron sights are pretty much considered usable because mostly you're going to be using this gun up and close. The recoil though is not consistent and is moderate to high, not very accurate overall but it is not hard to use. It also has a very good hip fire spread, your ADS time is going to be 100 milliseconds and your reload time is going to be 1.5 seconds. Overall a very good pistol, very easy to use and this might become the best new pistol in Car Mobile if it does end up getting added. Now the other gun expected to be arriving in Season 6 is the KSP-45 a 3 round burst SMG from Black Ops Cold War. Now this gun is very powerful, but it's not the easiest gun to use in the world. But once you have it down, it is super powerful and actually very good. And you have an insane time to kill potential on this gun. So you're able to one burst up to 15 meters and that gives you a time to kill potential of 166 milliseconds which is absolutely insane if you do manage to one burst someone. Now you obviously also do have to factor in the burst delay if you do end up missing a shot or two and that is going to be 88 milliseconds which is quite forgiving but you generally do want to be hitting your shots and your rate of fire is going to be 722 rounds per minute. Now up to 25 meters, it is going to take 4 shots, and the beyond that, it will result in 5 shots. The KSP is pretty good at hip firing up in close, but you do have to factor in the recoil on this gun is pretty weird overall, it's pretty random. You get a lot of horizontal recoil and a little vertical recoil, but it doesn't kick far from the area you're aiming at. It has this awkward side to side wobble, and it's not a super tight burst. Now your aim down sight is going to be 275 milliseconds and your reload time is 1.57 seconds which is pretty normal. So it's definitely a pretty good gun overall once you have everything down. So that is two guns expected for season 6, obviously we are going to have to wait and see how these do end up performing in COD Mobile. But now, let's move on some more. Now, over here is the expected legendary skins for season 6. So we have the LK24. Chai Lao, the M13 Fearless, the KRM262 Ejector, the Alcar 9 Seiko, and the KSP45 Colossus. Moving on some more, over here is the expected legendary character for Season 6, which was found in the game files quite a bit ago in the previous beta, which is Alias. Now right now, we only pretty much have the name of the character. We have no hints of what the skin is going to look like, when it does actually end up coming to the game, but I'm definitely pretty curious overall. Now, let's move on to the new map coming to the game, which is Favela from Modern Warfare 2. It's nice to see some older maps getting love in the game yet again. 
So, Favela is a medium-sized, multi-tiered map set in the slums of Rio. This map features fast-paced and close-quarter battles, but it also has many tall buildings for snipers and alleys for close-quarter battles. Much of the map is built vertically, with plenty of space around the rooftops and two-story buildings. This map can accommodate many different styles of play and game types. Controlling the high ground though will lead to success, though every building has more than one way of reaching the roof. Players can also jump across most roofs to help win battles. Although this map is fairly large, close quarter encounters are frequent, especially near buildings that lead to rooftops. So okay, that is Favela, the new map coming to the game in Season 6. Now, let's move on to something for Battle Royale, which is the new Jackal Fighter Jet. Now, big disclaimer, this is not confirmed to be coming in Season 6. This vehicle currently has no release date in the game. We are going to have to wait for COD Mobile to give us some news regarding when it is coming to the game. But I would say it is pretty possible and likely that we could end up seeing this come to the game in Season 6. If you consider they literally put new POIs on both BR maps, which are these little landing strips, for the Jackal. So the Jackal could very well be coming to the game in Season 6. The brand new fighter jet uh, that combines attack and scout abilities, mainly used to capture and maintain air control on the battlefield. Personally, I am super excited for this, and I do hope that it does end up coming in Season 6. Six. So with that being said, that is going to be all the info in this video regarding Season 6. But now, let's move on to a new collaboration coming to the game for the Chinese version of the game. Big disclaimer, this is going to be exclusive to the CN version. So in the background, you guys can see the teaser trailer for this new collab event, which is between Call of Duty Mobile CN and the anime animation known as Incarnation. So, in this collaboration, they're gonna be able to get this new character skin from the show, which you guys can see over here, as well as also a new exclusive legendary AK-117 blueprint. This will probably end up being in a lucky draw in the Chinese version of the game. Now, right now, we have no idea how this AK-117 skin is going to look. We only know how the character is going to look. But as soon as I do have more information regarding this event, I will be sure to let you guys know about that. But with that being said, that is going to be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you did enjoy. Let me know down below what you guys think so far about Season 6. Are you excited or not so much? Let me know in special comments down below. But for now, that's all from me. Have a great day. I'll catch all of you guys tomorrow for a new upload. And for now, scroll out and cheers. Bye.